Well, welcome back to Cheddar's Opening Bell. Staying with world and markets, the U.S. and China have reached a landmark audit deal that will help end the dispute that threatened to boot Chinese companies from U.S. stock exchanges. The deal marks a partial truce between the U.S. and China amid tensions over Taiwan and will provide some major relief to Chinese companies. Here to discuss the impact of this deal, let's bring back Reeve Collins, co-founder of Block V. Reeve, it's been a long time. Um, just want to get your thoughts in terms of, of the deal and how it allows U.S. regulators to vet accounting firms in China and Hong Kong. Um, what do you think in terms of differing expectations of implementing these audits? Well, it's a big step in the right direction because we haven't had much insight into these companies, yet they've been listed on our exchanges for the past 30 years. The first Chinese company got listed in 1994. And so now this is going to enable us to get more insights into the reality of what their financials really are. So overall, it's, it's a great deal. It doesn't mean that it's quite over yet because we have a few years before these implementations will really take place and to see if they're going to live up to the standards of the audits that we're used to. And to your point, it's been decades that these companies have been listed on the exchange and their accounting has been a, a bit of a, I don't want to say a secret, but, but it's just fascinating to me how investors have been able to kind of evaluate these companies not having the same accounting principles or insight that they do with U.S. companies. But, but to that point, now that we're getting to a potential point where we you know, level the playing field here, do you think there are any kind of immediate potential winners and losers that come to mind? Yes. Well, upon the announcement, Alibaba really took a jump from it was about around $96 to almost $105. So these Chinese tech companies are really feeling the they're appreciating the fact that there's some uh, possibility that they won't de be delisted because Goldman Sachs took it from a 90 percent, 95 percent possibility of these Chinese companies being delisted down to 50 percent. It's not lower than that due to the risk of how these audits are going to take place. However, just on that news, there was a big jump, mainly for Alibaba as well as these other tech chunk companies in China. Speaking of that, you know, SEC Chair Gary Gensler said some, something like 200 Chinese companies could potentially be banned from the U.S. exchange if this deal actually doesn't go through. The odds around that has since kind of seemingly changed. The agency has previously identified names like Alibaba, which you were talking about a moment ago, JD.com, even Neo, among those that, were, that are at risk. How are investors responding to these stocks? Maybe Alibaba aside, because you already talked about that one. Yeah, overall, it's a positive. And so and the stocks have rallied a little bit. They just announced that Alibaba and a few others are going to start going through the first audit processes in the next few months. And so that's really going to be telling to see how that happens. As you know, it's hard enough sometimes for U.S. companies to go through these audits and for us to really get true information. There's still a lot of fraud that goes on. So now in China, we'll see how deeply we can go and how much we can trust these audits. But overall, investors should be bullish because it's great to keep them on our stock exchange because we don't want to go away from globalization. There's too many world events moving us away from globalization, and we need to do what we can to make sure that uh, the, these countries are still connected and the relations are still good. Gensler also said that, that this agreement will only be meaningful if the public company accounting um, oversight board actually can inspect and investigate completely um, and, and completely audit these firms in China. What does a meaningful audit actually look like and what's the likelihood that that's going to happen for these companies? Again, given that, that China historically has not been in favor of be, uh, us being able to look under the hood, so to speak. Yes, that's truly the scary part. And for it to be meaningful, we have to be able to figure out how we can have a level of trust that the figures and the financials that we are receiving and that they are reporting to us really are accurate and they aren't hiding anything. As I mentioned, it is very difficult already with U.S. companies. It's going to be even more difficult in, the, in China to do that. But hopefully they'll come up with some novel ways to really understand that the figures are solid. In terms of the potential impact here, what, what do you think is the potential impact of this, of this agreement you know, for the global economy and certainly U.S. capital markets? It's great. It's a huge uh, step in the right direction for U.S.-Chinese relations, because if we were going to delist them, that would really send a bad signal. There's already a few companies from China that have voluntarily delisted due to the tensions between our two countries. But ideally, we can come to terms, create solid audit processes that everyone can agree on, and more and more com um, companies can be listed and we can, and can have access to our markets and we can invest in their economy. So overall, globally, it's, this is a huge step in the right direction. 
Any insight in terms of a timeline that we can ex expect or, you know, what time we can expect for these audits to actually get to a place where they're meaningful and we, we see that there's progress here? Yep, they're using Alibaba as the first one. Uh, they've been selected to do this audit, and I believe it's going to take place over the next few months. They're going to start selecting the agencies and really dig into those numbers. And that will set the precedent for the companies afterwards. Well, we look forward to kind of the insight and being able to look under the hood there. Reeves, appreciate your time and all of your insight. Reeves Collins, co-founder of Block V.